Hey, you guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back to another session of the Before You Say I Do series. This series has been very informative. There has been a lot of information. I've been getting so much feedback. Some people are agreeing, some people are disagreeing, and I love it. I love that everyone has different views. And of course, we're not saying that we're preaching gospel here except for the speak gospel bible but we're saying that we're sharing our opinions with you and we hope that you are learning from it today today the ladies are with us and you know these are my favorite people and they're gonna be telling us what do women want so those of you that have seen the previous series you'd have seen the one what do men want today the ladies are going to tell us what they want in a relationship and what they want in a partner isn't that exciting? That is so exciting. Yeah. If you haven't subscribed, you could do that now. Like, share, and all the good stuff. Hi, Lydia. Tell us, what do you want in a partner? What were you looking for when you were looking for a partner? Oh, well, number one, I'm looking for um, someone who's God-fearing. Somebody who has God as first priority in their lives, and someone who's mature, who knows how to handle situations when they are faced with it, who knows when to speak, when not to speak, just mature in knowing what to do when any when any situation arises. Um, that's number one on my list. Alrighty, lovely. We're starting off on a high pace. Alex, what were you looking for when you were looking for a partner? Or what are you looking for? Well, in, in the other episodes, uh, episodes, I've never, um, I've never <laughs> not said what I wanted. I, I definitely wanted somebody who, who could um, lead first and foremost lead me in the right position because you know as as a human being you have your up days you have your down days and i would definitely need somebody who could lead me spiritually um the days when i am down they they're able to tell me well you know what hey get up you could do better you need to do better here is how you could here is one way you could do better here is one way you could improve yourself so yeah I would definitely need somebody who has a living quality who can lead me. Um, another thing I would want is somebody who who I could count on, somebody who's reliable, somebody who makes me feel comfortable. There, somebody who's okay with your flaws. They they're loving you not because um they love you their own self but because they love god and their love for god is reflecting in the way that they love you so i yeah and i i would definitely want to, i would have definitely want somebody with those qualities excellent so you guys spoke a lot about having qualities, uh, spiritual qualities. Um, you just said God fearing, you said somebody who loves God and somebody who could lead you. Let's talk, let's speak a little bit more about these qualities, like the spiritual qualities, because people could fake it. And like I said in the, in the previous video, when I spoke with the men, people could fake it. Men could come, they could lead, um, they could seem to be leading groups, uh, be preaching, be very active in church, but does that mean they're spiritual and does that mean they're a good husband material and more so for you? Uh, let's, let's bring it a bit deeper. Uh, what, what really are you looking for and how do you, how do you pick among the group of people who seem to be the right pick for you? That's how you feel. Well, um, well, being God fearing, you're looking for somebody who's also God fearing. Then obviously you would have to put God in the mix, and if you put God in the mix, God will steer you in the right direction. There's no pretending. There's no somebody who's going to 
pretend to be what they're not and and then you're going to go into it blindly i i feel that god will open your eyes to maybe a situation or something before you you get too serious or before you actually get married to that person you observe the person you've been um a godly person you could be um and being spiritually minded god will give you foresight he will give you the tools that you need in picking someone also you have the bible as a guide the bible um in the bible you would see what is required in someone being spiritual and being husband material and to me the person can only maybe fool you that far and also to in I mentioned maturity, not just maturity in the person you're looking for, but you also need to be mature. So you being mature, you would maybe just not go into things blindly and you'd know what to look for and what not to look for. Now, um, the, those, um, the spiritual part is just like the, the number one thing for me, but maybe later on I could give a little more on what I would like and speak more about it. Excellent. Uh, Alex? Um, for me, um, when it comes to, well, when you, you're actually dating somebody or you, you think, you're thinking of moving into a more serious part of a relationship with somebody and you both are Christians, I, like that guy said to me you could you could you could speak the the christian talk and you could act you could put on a show for there's there's a, a a amount of time that you could you could pretend for some people it's longer than the other but there's a certain amount of time that you you would you would be able to put on the show and <laughs> should i say god is a god so special and he works in he works for his people he does things in such a way that that his people get to see what they need to see so if a man cannot he cannot pray on his own then hey that's a a, a big a big thing if you have no active role um you have no active role in church you do, you're not you're not doing anything when it comes to um working for the kingdom you're not interested in that you just sit at there warming up and every day in church you're not even trying you're not even trying to help with the elderly you know all those things i i would i would definitely look to see whether that that man or that that potential partner would be involved in in those things because to me, even if my, my, my partner, the person I have my eyes set on, um, the person does not know what ministry they, they're in, but at least you need to be able, I need to see you um, putting yourself out, out there for, for God to use you. And if you're not putting yourself out there, that's like a big wake up, wake up call because I know for sure I don't want to work in my ministry. And if you're not even allowing God to have, to have any space in your life, then that's just like, you know, you know, you not it, you not it, you not it. So, yeah. Thank you, Alex. Um, so remember the question was, you're choosing among those people that are already, they're active in church, they're, they're doing things. Because the obvious thing would be somebody that's not active in church. And even so, we need to take that with a grain of salt because everybody's ministry will not be to be a conductor or to be a pastor or to be these people on the front line. Um, but some people, their ministry or their role uh, would be more silent in that perhaps your husband would be the gardener of the church, um, would be the person who perhaps helps clean the benches or make make benches for the church or whatever the case is but i do respect your your um 
your contribution when you say this person has to be doing something uh, for God. But let's talk a bit more about on a general, not everybody is in church, but yet still we see there are successful relationships out there. Do you think that spirituality is important in every relationship or is it just something that is valued by believers? Well, I can speak about what I know as somebody who's God fearing, but I do build, but I do see relationships that are, um, but then who's to judge what is the person's relationship with God? But sometimes I do believe that apart from spirituality, morals, good morals have a lot to do with um, um, relationships working and you respecting somebody, you being honest, a lot of um, characteristics, good characteristics, which um, maybe someone noticed that the other person had that you all could have come together to be, that worked. When the two individuals came, came together, it, it actually worked. Because apart from being spiritual, you look for good characteristics in someone. I would look for somebody who's honest, somebody who's not afraid to be themselves, somebody who's strong-minded um, in terms of um, going what they're after and being in pushing and being um, optimistic, um, a whole set of th those good stuff, good characteristics. Um, because I do believe that good characteristics makes up like a really good person and not bringing in the physical. I'm not um, disregarding the spiritual, the physical totally in that. Um, when I was like, from the time I knew myself, I'm like, I have a type, I have a um, type tall, dark and handsome and whatnot. But I do believe um, um, the person's characteristic, the person's inner being, what makes up the person trumps that physical appearance. Because somebody could be all that good looking and when you speak with them, it's like you're turned off and, uh, uh, and all that. So I do believe it's what you're looking for. But if you know um, physicality has a lot, um, the physical appearance has, ha is very important to you. Don't go and marry somebody based on, let's say, okay, they're, they're, they're spiritual because that's what everybody's saying or the inner thing because that's what everybody's saying and then you like a certain type and then when you're married and you're somebody and somebody passes, you're always looking, you're always looking, you yeah, you're being interested. So just, you ha somebody has to be true to themselves, to, true to their character. And yeah, as I was saying with the question you asked that I think that apart from we can't really judge sometimes who's looking on the outside, who's, who, who has, um, no matter the proportion of them having God in their lives, because sometimes people place God above all, and sometimes people have God maybe a certain percentage. I'm not saying maybe um, that work actually works, but I'm just saying we can't judge from the outside what's going on. But apart from spirituality, I think good morals, good characteristics, would make a marriage work and you respecting the person and all those stuff. Thank you so much. Let's hear from you, Alex. Um, what I believe is um, being equally yoked. Eh? So um, unbelievers could be um, equally yoked at just as much as believers. So um, that would just mean that your core morals, your core values, your values, those things are the same. Um, we as we as believers, we may believe in things being done a certain way, and non-believers may believe in things being done a certain way, and they 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 can they they would click based on that. Um, I for one, I believe that um, as or like we just said, you will only speak of what you know, and. The Bible speaks of the qualities of a, 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 a good man. And um, if I have to go based on what the, the Bible says, then it's like everything is already is already set. The fact that the man is a Christian is expected to be um, 
that and he's expected to be industrious he's expected to to be you know somebody a loving person because the bible has asked him to to love to love so a lot of the qualities you look for in a in a, a, a man a potential husband the bible would have speak of it already you it well it should have existed within a, a, a christian life however the unbeliever they don't have that that privilege should i say they now have to search for things other than um they now have to go searching for things on their own that's a lot more work to me that's, that's just my take they have a lot more work to do because hey we have we have god working on our side and he's the majority of the work he's he's um done um the eliminating phase for us but the unbeliever now has to go out there and 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 go through that phase on their own and see what they like and and what they, they don't like um i remember we just touched on liking something and don't go for something you don't like at the end of the day we as as humans we our body change that's just my take on it our body changes and you might like to see that coca-cola bottle shape that's just for the men i might like to see that man with his full head of hair but let me tell you when the 40 the 50 heat and i see now i have to get up every day with a man shop let me tell you <laughs> What you know when you love when you love the physical doesn't really matter because you're willing to accept your partner in spite of whatever the shop I'll accept you anyway because you know I God has asked you to love me and you've loved me correctly and God has asked me to submit to you and because of the way you love me and I've submitted myself to you. I now I have grown to love you because obviously if a woman realizes that her husband loves her in, in spite of whatever she's going to stick around because she 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 has realized the love that she has for him and the respect he has for him and so on and so forth so what I was basically saying is body changes so you cannot love somebody or end up being attracted to somebody based on their their physical right you need to go deeper than that because the physical will fade away. Thank you, Alex. Uh, thank you very much. Alex basically covered everything <laughs> in her in her dialogue. Uh, so we we spoke a lot about the physical and the importance of the physical as it relates to the spiritual. So I like that um, you're saying, Lydia is saying that the the physical, if it's important to you, you should go for it because at the end of the day that may cause problems and you may be led to temptation or temptation might lead you to sin uh and alex is saying love covers that so love should uh if you if you love the person then the physical doesn't matter viewers let us know in the comment section is physicality a part of it um does love cover it if i love somebody does the physical still matter my personal opinion doesn't count, but I would love to hear what the viewers have to say on this. Because it has been very interesting, very informative. Um, do you have anything else that you want to add, Lydia? Um, I agree with Alex that love covers, but um, some people still do have a type. And you, you're not going to lie to yourself. That doesn't mean the person, like, let's say, okay, sometimes the person could be beautiful and the person has good inner characters that doesn't mean um because somebody is beautiful physically that means they don't have good attributes good characters and and that you sometimes cannot take it's, it's not one or the other sometimes you can get both you can get what you like i do agree that um somebody's character um would cover um, phys the physical um, outlook of somebody for me. So who somebody is on the inside, really, um, when you love that person, 
it doesn't matter sometimes how they look as long as the person is attractive to you. The person could be the most ugly person for everybody else, but if they are attractive to you, that's all that matters. But I'm still stressing because I've seen it happen. Some people, because sometimes maybe we're godly and people are going for this. Sometimes we think, because we're godly, we think we're not entitled to certain things. Maybe the world, like let's say others around us will class as um, superficial or, or whatever. You like, if you, if you really love somebody, big guys, and then you know every time it will be a problem, you, you watch it. I'm not saying you leave your partner. It will be, be a big, a huge issue, but it can be a little ticklish at times. If you know you that type and the person's character will not cover it all, trump it for you, you do. You could have both. You could love the person um and um, um, you could love the person we really, really, really love the person you are with, but it, it doesn't hurt that sometimes okay, you like somebody who's fair, that you could have fair and really love the person on the inside too. It wouldn't it won't be just a physical thing like you love the person just because they're fair and then it's all about that. It could be about both, it could be it could be about all three, the spiritual, the the physical and the inner character and all that, which sometimes is a combination of you being you being spiritual. All those things should should follow. All those things should follow. All the honesty you want. Um, um, somebody who's um romantic. You want somebody who's this. You want somebody who's that. But sometimes somebody can't have everything because they're spiritual. One time, oh, they just have everything all lined up that you. But then you work. You work with it. You. And as I said, if God sends the person for you, he, know, he knows best sometimes even more than we do what, what, we, what, what works for us, what we like. So then it just works out that way. That's it. Yeah. Thank you, Ligia. Alex? I, <laughs> you know, um, I was just going to, I was speaking of saying that, um, when when God actually sends somebody for you, you just have to accept the package. There is no if no but no me because one time that um story about the man who who got married to the harlot and he did not have a choice in it. You think he wanted to get married to that woman? If he had his own choice, his own pick, that wouldn't be his first choice. I'll be honest. And every time he had to go back, like he had to go back and look for his wife, the wife left and he had to keep on going back and look for the wife. At the end of the day, um, I think I think it more has to do with like in the like I think it it has to do more with your your trust in God than than um the the physical i just i don't know that's just my take it just has to do more with the your trust in god than the physical because for some of us we would feel like you know i'm so attracted to somebody who looks that way and in truth and in fact it's really not if you meet somebody with the opposite of what you thought you liked you would still end up liking them because of the the attributes that they have moving forward because maybe that's the person god really wanted for you so i don't know i don't know that's also awesome. i don't know it's for a long statement but okay so she's saying that hey it's who god chose for you they is saying is god should be a part of the process my question is how do i know if the person was sent from god who's what does how does God tell me that, hey, this is the person for me? Is God shouting it from heaven? Is he sending it in a dream? What, how do I know? And I'm giving you each of you one minute to answer this question, and then we're going to wrap this up. One minute. Let me go first. I'll jump at it. Let me tell you. God tells everything to his people. Just like I would have a best friend and I would tell everything to my best friend. God only tells, he only speaks 
to his. So are you his and are you allowing him to speak to you? That's how you're going to know if that's your partner. Um, you know, I believe you know because you will see how everything works out, how things fall into place, how, like, let's say, things are answered when you do, didn't even think you asked it because you know who you are on the, on the inside and you see everything is just working, everything is working, um, the blessings come in, everything just working and you even surprise yourself and, and things are moving along and you, you, you not even seem like you're the one moving it along and things are just like working and you not working. So who else is working if you if you God's child? Who else is working? Is God's? It's God working, so then, yeah, that's how you know. And if you know you have that relationship with him, you will see it, you'll see his hand in it, you'll, you'll just see it. Alrighty, so we really spoke to the believers today. And we also spoke to people who probably don't go to church. When you're, when you're going into a relationship, what are you looking for? The ladies spoke, they, they said they're looking for people that are, men that are spiritual, led by God. They are looking for men with good morals. And they are also looking for, well, at least for one of them, they must be physically attractive. Uh, so what, what's, what's important to you? Go ahead, Lydia. Go ahead. I did say to explain myself they must be physically attractive i said they must be physically attractive to you the person who's marrying them mm -hmm. some and i clearly stated that they could be the ugliest person to everyone else but as long as you find they're the best looking man on earth because you're the person that you're the person that's going to be with them for the rest of your life and yeah so and i Let's say, I don't know if that's why y'all misunderstood me. I am just saying, if physicality is important to you, don't lie to yourself and say that it's not. Be honest with yourself. To me, it's not making sense you're going into a really serious relationship and you're lying to yourself about what you want. And, and that could be confusing. That could be a road to a lot of problems. So then just be honest with yourself about yeah, it's not anybody choosing for you, but yourself and as a child of God, God leading you. No, I definitely, I definitely got your point. I mean, if beauty is always found in the eyes of the beholder. And if, if it's something that you value, then you're saying you should go for it and not pretend and not like act that just because everyone else is saying, oh, it's just spiritual then. And then you go into a just spiritual and then you're unhappy in the relationship or you're looking elsewhere. So uh, yeah, I definitely get your point. So viewers, what are you looking for? What are you looking for in a man when you're entering into a relationship? Ladies, uh, even if you are married, what did you look for in your spouse? If you are a Christian, if you're a believer, what how did God communicate with you how did God confirm to you that this is your spouse um, I'd be so interested and I'd be so intrigued to know but thank you so much for watching as always do the good stuff like subscribe uh, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend share the link and we will see you in our next uh, video thanks bye